Hi everyone, this is Dave and welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. In today's video, we're taking a look at a really cool design monitor. This is from AOC. This is their PDS241. And when I say really cool design, this is a Porsche design monitor. And it is absolutely gorgeous to look at. It's going to be quite difficult for me to show you the profile of this monitor but I'll certainly be showing you how some of the images look and it is really very very impressive indeed. In fact this is one of the most impressive monitors I've looked at for a long long time purely because of the image it produces and how thin the panel is. So before I show you some actual images on the monitor itself I just want to go through some of the specifications so I want to switch over to show you the main specs on the AOC website so it says here sleek elegant design so this is by studio FA Porsche in partnership obviously with AOC the model number is the PDS 241 it actually is an IPS panel it gives you 100% sRGB and 90% of the NTSC color gamut so very very good monitor now it quotes that it only goes up to 250 CDM brightness but I think it goes brighter than that it is a very very bright monitor and if we just look at some of the main specs here so it's a 23.8 inch diagonal uh, the actual visible screen size 527 by 296 millimeters 169 format ratio uh, contrast ratio of a thousand to one and also 178 degree viewing angles 4 millisecond response time and a refresh rate of 60 Hertz now it comes with a three-year warranty as well and it's got this borderless uh, bezels on it as well now connections and I'll show you how this works in a short while it's got one HDMI version 1.4 uh, also an audio output as well and it comes supplied with uh, what's called a Shuko C7 cable again I'll show you this very shortly and an HDMI cable inside the box so that's the main sort of specifications but really what's going to impress you is when I show you the actual monitor so let's take a look at the actual monitor uh, before I show you that just a very very quick shout out to everyone who's tuned into the live broadcast thank you very much for tuning in live there is the live chat available so if you've got any questions at all about this monitor then please do leave them in the live chat if you want your comment or question highlighted super chat is there for you as well if you use super chat it means that your question is actually highlighted and brought to my attention also if you're watching this video after the live broadcast then please do leave me a comment so let's take a look at this amazing quality monitor and it really is very cool now what they've done different here so AOC in partnership with Porsche Design have actually given you a breakout box this is what I want to show you first so this breakout box I don't want to move it too much because I've obviously got the monitor connected has got a an HDMI connector on one end plus a power cable so this is plugged into the mains and then on the other end it's got this Shuko cable that I think it was called the P7 uh, now this is what actually connects to the monitor itself and I'll show you where it connects in a, in a short while now this is a uh, got like a plastic casing with some nice chamfer into the edges looks nice but you're gonna hide this away somewhere so let me just do that this is going to be sort of hidden away behind the monitor so not in view and what they've done to this monitor is really very cool if I just turn this on the side profile and you'll get to see the viewing angles as well here so as I turn this you can see the actual design of the monitor so now this is going to side profile look at how thin it is I mentioned in one of my tweets that you will be very hard pressed to see this when it's on the side profile because it is so thin at its thinnest point I'm only guessing this but I would imagine that this is round about sort of three maybe four millimeters that is a very very impressive thing to fit a panel of this quality into this sort of thin design now we've got this um, arm here that supports the monitor and then if you look just down here if I turn this even further around you can see the back of the monitor this is where the cable plugs in so the cable is plugged in and it's hidden away inside the base of the uh, the support for the monitor it's a very very cool design and then we've also got some tilt control on this as well so we can tilt to this angle 
and we can tilt downwards as well to get the perfect viewing angle. It's just done so, so well. I really do like the design on this. It's very, very cool indeed. The way they've integrated this cable into the foot of the monitor is absolutely gorgeous. I really do like the design aspect of it. And that doesn't detract from the actual image quality. If I just put this back around into a position where you can actually view the panel itself. So the resolution is 1920 by 1080. It's an IPS panel. Let me show you some photos on here as well. So this is a photo I've shown you in a few of my videos now. Picture of a canal in Hythe. And um, not in Hythe, that's in Canterbury, sorry. And it just looks absolutely superb. The colour rendition is brilliant. Really very, very good indeed. I just want to show you these viewing angles again. As we go off axis, just look at this. Wow, it is so good. You hardly get any color shift at all. It's got really wide viewing angles. Let me just show you this coming back in. Very, very good viewing angles on this. No color shift at all until you go to those really acute viewing angles. I am really impressed. Very, very impressed indeed. So that's one of the photos I want to show you. Let me also show you this one. This just shows you some really nice detail in the sort of shadow areas very very good indeed again really nice quality and then this one again this is one of my own photos all of these are photos I've taken and this just shows some really nice color across here very true to how I would have expected it to actually look on the monitor very true to real life so really color accurate absolutely love it very very good display now just to also let you know uh, we have also got a little LED light here. Just underneath the LED light is where the main power button is. The menu system is really strange. When you press that, the menu system comes up and then you can flick through the menu system. And then when you stop on one, the it flashes and then the options come up and then you can cycle through the options. And then the, the, the on-screen display disappears. So a bit of a strange on-screen display. There is also an audio output just here, so you could connect external monitors or a pair of headphones to that. Uh, very minimal, there's no other controls underneath, there's no touch panel or anything like that. Just this band just here, this sort of silver band with the AOC branding on. And then super thin bezels all the way around, very very thin bezels. Absolutely love the design of this. There is also a 27 inch version of this monitor available. So you can go for either the 24 or the model 24 with the 23.8 inch or there is a 27 inch version as well. And I just think that this IPS display is really good and so thin. I mean when I opened this, and this is no exaggeration, when I took delivery of this and saw the box, I picked the box up and I was a bit concerned that there wasn't a monitor in it. It was that light. So this could really easily, although there's no actual mounting uh, available there's no sort of visa mount on the back if you could find some way of adapting this because it's such a thin panel that'd be awesome to build into a wall somewhere absolutely superb uh, Raymond Moore is asking what's the resolution of the panel this is a full HD uh, display or monitor and it's 1920 by 1080 resolution let's have a look inside the chat see if there's any more questions uh, we've got S Baggin saying morning Dave watching from Wait Rose in Banstead Hello to you all and hello to the Waitrose team down there in Banstead. Thank you very much for tuning in. So, what was used this monitor for? Well, a secondary display or a primary display. If you're looking for something a little bit more compact, then go for the 24-inch size. The fact that this has got an IPS panel on it and it's really colour accurate, you could use this for photo processing or editing, video editing, or just for general use as well. If you're looking for something that looks nice in a really nice sort of setup, then again, go for this. If you're looking for something that's uh, sort of focused towards gaming, the four millisecond response time might not be ideal, so I probably wouldn't recommend this for gaming. Uh, but for, certainly for general use, video and photo editing, then I can really recommend it because I'm very, very impressed with the color accuracy. And then again, as I mentioned, if you're looking for something a little bit bigger in size, then go for the 27 inch version. And that's gonna give you a really nice, uh, more expansive display for more serious photo editing. But if size uh, is important to you, go for that 27 inch. If space is at a premium on your desk, then you can certainly go for this 23.8 inch. Uh, Fedden12 is asking, is it a gloss or matte panel? This is a matte panel. 
so if I turn this off axis again you can see the viewing angles there's no reflections or no reflections that I can see and very very good viewing angles and it is indeed a matte panel on this one so very very good question and, and really relevant because a lot of panels that you get nowadays are in fact glossy displays uh, the IMAX sitting behind me here is glossy so I've got that facing away from any natural light so I can control the lighting in the room and the reflections I get this one you're going to have no problems at all with any reflections so that is it for this review of the AOC PDS241 Porsche Design Monitor. If you're in the market for a really compact monitor, but something that's going to give you a really good colour accuracy, then this is well worth checking out. So thanks very much for tuning in everyone. I've got another video coming up later on the Geek & Noise channel, so please do subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you in another video very soon.